Hello guys So as I said in the previous video I'm going to compile some situation to give you some ideas on when to use the first touch and the trappings that I've taught you in the previous video so let's get right into it so this one you can double tap R1 to get into space see that again from better angle see that's a space between the defender you can double tap R1 to push the ball into space to set up for that shot this one another attempt double tap R1 and try it again double tap R1 into space it's not a sure way defender can still get to that ball you can see there's some space there but the defensive midfielder is quick to come back but I use it Perez is there to get to that ball and this time I use R2 hold it to let the ball through to set up for that shot see that again you can see the space behind hold R2 let the ball go then run toward the goals for a shot Alright, the next one is holding R2 and the L1 That way you can let the ball go to the player behind you Set up for that shot Usually you can do this when you pass into the penalty box And there's someone in behind you This one, special one, tap R3 can tap R3 to lift up the ball like that and use your joystick to control the ball towards the goal like that to set up for that shot see that again tap it and control the ball with your left joystick this is the match between MU and Bournemouth Tap R1, double tap R1 to set up for that shot. See it again. You can see the defender going inside. So there will be space down there. You can tap double tap R1 into that space to set up for a shot. Nicely done. Alright, this one we have a match between PSG and Lyon Same thing, double tap R1 Push the ball further from you Here, tap it, tap, double tap R1 into space Set up for a shot, take one more touch there And take a shot Alright, this one is also the same Double tap R1 See it again Alright This time, hold R2 To let the ball through can continue with your attack see it again sometimes if you pass to your player instead of giving a true pass you can use the holding of R2 to get through this one is double tap R1 set up for that shot See the space in the middle there So much space Now 
This time he's holding R2 to let the ball through. He should have all the R2 again right then, but still a goal. See it again. Hold R2 to let the ball through. Here I can also hold the R2 button to let the ball through. Uh, like right here, should have hold the R2 button. Alright, so games between Juve and Napoli. You can see here, holding R2 so that I can go into space to switch sides. Don't want to deal with that defender. So this one is holding R2 and L1. To get a ball behind to the next player, see it again here. So Ronaldo, there will go to that ball. Could have done better. Do the same thing, holding R2 and L1. Like that, set it up for a shot for the player behind. Again, the same thing. Oh no, this one is holding R2, but because the pass is too strong, you will not be able to catch it, so this is not the way to do it. This one is holding R2 and L1 to leave the ball behind to the running player. You can see that, that's kind of situation that you can do to go for a cross see it again you can see the left back running behind I think it's Alessandro set up for that cross for Ronaldo here the last match is between Madrid and Barca See here again, R2 and L1, hold it to leave the ball behind. Usually, this kind of play you can use when you use your winger or your fullback, giving a cross in. So, you have a couple of players inside the box, so you can leave the ball to the player behind you. So, this one is just holding the R2. One example how to do it this is in superstar so probably you can do it in top player and regular or professional should be able to do it easily this is the same thing r2 but the pass is strong so you're not able to get to that ball quick enough so the defender managed to get to that ball first Time is let go of the joystick to shield the ball with Benzema. See it again. Shield the ball. Let, let your joystick go. Do not touch anything. Then pass it to Hazard there. And I use R2, hold it to let the ball through. And then take a shot. Alright, so that's how you do it. For the ending, let's see a goal from Mr. Jamie Vardy. Oh, what a nice goal! So that's it for today. I hope you guys had a good time watching this. I hope you guys learned something and can improve your gameplay. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments like this video and subscribe to get updated on uh, future content share to help this uh, channels grow and I'll see you guys in the next one